Sir, your transport is ready. We must go now. Sir, please. Once again, I have failed my duty to protect our nation. Sir, it's not over. We can continue to fight. The Black Aliens may have rendered us unable for now, but we will rally, sir. You must keep your nation strong and together. Yes, keep the nation united. No matter what happens, we'll never surrender to these creatures. This much I learned from them. Sir, please hurry! Okay. The black creatures will feel their own bloody hell. What a pathetic sight. Shadow, follow them. Make sure they understand their situation. Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part 14 of Shadow the Hedgehog, and now we're on Gun's Air Fleet. Shadow, we're in big trouble. The black creatures are after the president's escape pod. You've got to stop them and escape the president. Gun has one of the emeralds. Destroy that human leader's escape pod. Gun. You need to stop all of the black arms. So why is Tails here? Why is he helping the president and protecting him from alien invaders? Where's Sonic? Wouldn't wouldn't Gun like go to Sonic and be like, "Hey, help out the president and protect him." I mean, Tails is here. Where's Sonic? That's kind of the one thing I don't like about Shadow the Hedgehog. There's too much exposition on like the human characters, like the president and the gun commander. You get like so many scenes of the gun commander being all you know, make sure you kill the, the aliens and Shadow, because I hate Shadow. We get scenes of the president lamenting that his planet's being invaded. His planet. <laughs> He's lamenting that his country is being invaded, but we don't see any of the other leaders, you know. I mean, is the president, like, just the president of the planet? I mean, how does that work? But he's lamenting because, you know, Westopolis and Central City and all these places are getting destroyed under his command, and he's powerless to do anything about it. But I don't care about these human characters. I just don't care. When I play a Sonic the Hedgehog game, I'm not here to get some big, deep, fucking plot backstory about the president and the struggles he goes through in the White House. I want to see Sonic breaking up some robots that Dr. Eggman built, <laughs> you know? Eggman's the only human I want in these games, goddammit. I mean, since, since the series' inception, it's always been about Sonic running around checkered, you know, mountains, grassy fields, going up loop-de-loops, collecting rings, eating chili dogs, and uh, Dr. Eggman turning nature into one big pollution, factory, robot assembly, horrible place, and Sonic has to go teach him a lesson because Eggman's a greedy motherfucker who needs to be stopped. But I don't care about the gun commander Shepard. I don't care about the president. Chaos control! <laughs> Sorry, have to do that every time. But I don't care about the human characters. I want to see what Sonic's doing. What's- what is Sonic doing? What is he doing about this whole situation? Is Sonic just like hanging around Westopolis, homing attacking every alien that comes his way? Does he have a plan? Does he want to destroy the place that the aliens are coming from? Does he want to find Black Doom and beat him up? I mean, what exactly are the heroes doing about this whole situation? We get no cutscenes relating to them or what their plan is. We just- I mean, at one point we hitch a ride with them. That's coming up in part 15. But, uh, we never understand what they're planning to do, or what their goal is. And I don't understand why not. I know they're not the main characters of this story, I know Shadow is, but still... I wanna know what the hell Sonic and company are doing. I like those characters. They're the best characters in Sonic. I don't care about Gun Commander Shepard. I don't! The President? Fuck him! Whatever! <laughs> don't care about these human characters. Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 made it a point that although the gun was like the enemy force in the game because Dr. Eggman and Shadow needed something to fight, we 
saw the president once, then we never saw him again. You know, and that was good. We didn't need to see him again. I don't, this isn't the president's story. The president is the helpless mother. Chaos control! <laughs> Sorry, had to do that. But uh, <laughs> the president is just this helpless little bitch who, you know, goes, I hope Sonic can save the day. And that's all he should be, because Sonic is the hero. Sonic is going to save the day. And the president should just be like, he shouldn't even be in these games, you know? He shouldn't have even been in Sonic Adventure 2. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. But I digress, I'm just saying I don't like human characters being in Sonic, they don't belong. It's all about Sonic and his friends. Eggman is the one human, and he's the bad human. <laughs> As it should be. It's almost like a story of nature versus, you know, corporate corporations and, and machinery and pollution and shit. Almost, not really, but kinda. Either way, I'm digress. I do like the platforming of Air Fleet, I like this whole uh, extending wall thing. I don't know what purpose it serves on the ship itself, but I like the platforming. I wish more of Shadow had platforming like this, where you actually felt like you were having fun doing it. I enjoy that part. Don't care for the missions, though. As again, because again, the mission we're doing with Tails is kill every enemy in the level, and if you miss one, well, I don't need to repeat myself. This little mech thing shoots bullets, it's very slow, but it does have unlimited ammo, so if you want unlimited ammo and a crazy death tank, uh, you can walk around in this and blow up aliens with it. So that's pretty neat. And that's the hero mission, hooray, we saved the president from getting killed, yeah, uh... I'm not gonna let them get away with any more of their plans. But now, folks, we're going on to the dark mission. Where we kill the presidents. <laughs> Shadow, go. Destroy that craft and kill their leader. Then watch its effect on the humans. So is that like part of my mission? I have to watch its effect on the humans? I actually have to physically watch the news and see how the, the death of the president has affected the planet? Okay. But basically, when you come up to these crossroads sections, you want to flip these switches so that the gun troops... So that the, the plane, the Air Force One of Sonic, if you will, where the president is, uh, goes in the direction of where the gun troops are. That way, you can shoot gun troops and you can get lots of evil energy, which will build up to your score. And, of course, it'll make you invincible and have unlimited ammo while it's happening. But, uh, pl plus the, uh, the gun soldiers have some pretty good guns to use against the aliens themselves, or to use against the pod itself, so, you know. It's all good for the guns, and it's a good for just being pure evil and just maxing out on evil energy and just shooting the hell out of, out of the ship. This, uh, escape pod, the President's escape pod, takes a shitload of damage, so you really have to concentrate all your fire on it. You really don't want to waste ammo, you want to make sure all your shots are counting, you can't relent. You have to be relentless. You have to just destroy the hell out of this thing, unless you have the shadow rifle I mentioned earlier. But if you don't have the shadow rifle, you gotta spend a lot of time focusing on this thing, blowing the hell out of it. Because even though it looks like it's smoking and it's already pretty badly damaged now, oh no, it's still quite a few shots before it's done. Again, the good thing about this mission as opposed to Iron Jungle. Iron! Iron! <laughs> the good thing about this level, as opposed to Iron Jungle, is that the egg balloon is it was always to the side of you, and in this mission, the president's escape pod is always, like, generally above you, and Shadow just has to walk along and shoot, and he can shoot it no problem. So it's a little bit easier to shoot this thing, but it does take a lot more damage to destroy, unlike the egg balloon, I believe. So, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky, and, uh, yeah. We're killing the president! <laughs> oh, this game is too much. Too much, I say. I haven't actually talked about the supposed racism this game has yet. A lot of people find Shadow the Hedgehog racist, you know? I don't know why. I, I, I get it. I don't think it's racist. I just think that, you know, there's a lot of... really bad ch ch choosing of words, you know? 
Like, they, they decided to call the alien invaders the Black Arms, and their leader is Black Doom. And, uh, they came from the Black Comet and all that shit. So, like, and they have a monster called Black Bull, you know. So they have the phrase Black is with them everywhere. And every time you see, like, the gun commander or the president, and they're all talking about the aliens, you know, they're always talking about how we have to kill those black creatures. We have to kill the black arms. We have to kill those black monsters. Those black aliens have shown up, you know. <laughs> Again, they don't mean black people. No one's going, like, look at those aliens eating watermelon and shit, you know. <laughs> like, nothing. There's no... Def there's no one's picking on black people, like, human... Blah, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but it's really uncomfortable to talk about. But, you know, it's just the phrase black, and somehow that associates to, oh, this game's racist. <laughs> I guess. Shadow's black, but whatever. I just remember X-Play actually made a comment about that. Like the TV show X-Play on G4. Uh, it has that guy, Adam Sessler, is always going, I give this game a one out of five. I saw the review of Shadow the Hedgehog. In fact, I've got it on VHS somewhere around here. Because I used to tape lots of video game reviews on my old VHS uh, VCR thing. Because I love this show called Reviews on the Run, and I have like years and years of footage of Reviews on the Run, and I love that show. Really got me into being a video gamer, so uh, I might do a a reflection on that one day, sometime. But, uh, anywho, the point is, I taped a lot of video game reviews and a lot of video game shows, and I taped uh, the Shadow of the Hedgehog review, which X-Play gave a 1 out of 5, because they thought it was abominable. And, um, yeah, they even made the point that the game could be taken as racist, because, and then they did a whole montage of, like, kill the black creatures, you know, <laughs> we have to stop the black aliens, kill them all. You know, I, I don't... I don't think it's racist. I don't call it racist, you know. I don't see how this could be applied to black people or how any black person could be offended by what these characters are. I mean, yeah, obviously the, the phrase black, but, you know, we're talking about alien creatures. We're talking about a race that wants to kill people and is pretty much worse than Nazis. So, you know, I don't know. I just thought I'd address that racism issue and talk about it. Really uncomfortable. Don't want to even bring it up. I had no choice. I need to know the truth. But yeah, we killed the president. Oh no! Well, we actually didn't really kill the president at all. In fact, if you do this mission, you see that the president got away. Oh well, that's a pr that's perfect. Yeah, that's convenient. Anyway, that's Air Fleet. Uh, I like the platforming in that level. That's about it. <laughs> See you in part 15.